Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again to the next episode in the series. Last episode we went over setting some custom animations on our um, fragment transactions so that you kind of got some, uh, you know, little navigation effect here. Uh, and just maybe, you know, if the animations were the proper ones and set up, you know, so that they worked well with one another, um, you know, it could, could really bring a little bit more life into your app. So, um, I at least started the primitive discussion of how to do it and today we're just going to go ahead and try to maybe build a custom animation to kind of show the uh, the possibilities that we can actually get to if we were to look at something being properly animated. So we'll just go ahead and try to find the... Uh, you know what, we might actually just be able to figure this out from... Okay, so first thing we need to do here is create a new... Uh, no, what did I just do? Need to create a new um, Android resource directory, and we're gonna look for the type of animation or anim. Then we're gonna um, add a new file, and let's call this. Uh, Fragment slide in right is what we're going to try to do. Uh, let's see if we can just paste this and see. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's take out the alpha for now. Um, and then 2x delta for negative 50%. So we want to translate it, uh, which one do we end up copying? Slide in on the left. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's set this to be 100 and we're going to go to zero. Set it to slide in right and let's see how that works. And we'll talk about if we got it, uh, what's going on here. All right, so you can see it kind of coming in from the right hand side of the screen, except um, that fade exit is a little, is a little, uh, The timing is not the best, right? So that thing fades out and then this one fades in or slides in. So ideally, we just put zero. Let's see how this looks. Now that just kind of completely goes away. Um, let's see. If we can do a oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to have a thousand percent. Whoops, let's see if that changes anything real quick. So it's a little closer. It looks like it's kind of uh, there's a little bit less of a delay, maybe, but it's still not perfect. So we'll do slide out left. We're gonna say from uh, cut that from zero to negative. We need to actually use this. Uh, 
There we go. So that actually uh, kind of kind of looks like you're you know navigating screens. Let's actually just remove the the pop off one for now. Um, but it does after you know a little bit of work actually look like you're kind of you know scrolling this entire screen. It's given you a little bit of um, you know like that navigational understanding of where you're going maybe or how things are working. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's fade this guy back in. Uh, fade enter when the other one comes in, and then we're gonna say uh, fragment slide down, and we're gonna make this file right now. Uh, sure, let's just take this whole thing. And so instead of x delta, we're going to do y to y. So from, I think we're going to need 0 here to maybe 100%, because y goes positive that way. So let's see. Let's see how this looks. All right, so we know this is going to look pretty good. Wow, look at that. That's actually not bad at all, huh? We kind of have a little... What is it? Yeah, it doesn't really look the greatest because the text kind of goes away and stuff. Um, hmm. All right, well... Uh, So it kind of looks good. I'm a little upset with it. I can't unsee it now. I just see this image when it flies down when you go backwards. Super annoying. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely bothering me. So maybe let's just try to reverse this, uh, what we're doing here. So the pop, the enter is going to be slide in left, which we might have in here, slide in left, and then slide out right. I believe the slide out right though, or these have like alphas on them. Yeah, so, so it doesn't look like as nice as I want it to look, but um, you know, you can kind of get uh, you can get the idea of what's going on here, right? And and this first animation is actually quite nice. And honestly, the system one looks a little I don't know wonky in my opinion. Um, but anyway, um, what I kind of wanted to show is that you actually can go ahead, you know, create custom animations, define them in your um, animation folder, and then uh, you know, reference them in code. Um, and then I guess just quickly taking a look at uh, some of these um, animation files and how they're set up. Um, you know, we have this one defined as a set because we had multiple things in or multiple like um, elements within the single file, but because we commented it out, we actually don't need the, the set um, uh, tag. But, uh, you know, you can do that and use that and then have a few things that are going to be running at the same time. Uh, and they all have, uh, you know, their own duration set to them. The uh, Android system provides some, uh, let's see, yeah, some like basic things that you can use uh, for short animations, medium, long animations, instead of you having to actually like set however many milliseconds you want this thing to run. Um, but you could also do that, uh, and it would take you know one second to to complete that animation. But it's good good practice for certain things, especially fragment transactions and transitions and screen transitions and stuff like that, to use you know the built-in uh, animation times. And you know even when you're doing some view animations, it's it's likely worth it as well. 
Um, but then in this translate tag here, we're basically telling the view how to translate itself. And so from Y delta to Y delta, from X delta to X delta is a way for you to <clears throat> tell the view, or you know, in this case it's the fragment, but really the view to um, you know, where you want it to start and where you want it to end. Uh, so in the case of um, sliding down, which, well, we don't have it anymore, so maybe we'll do this one. Slide in from the right. So this animation file is for this animation that happens where the club overview um, screen comes into play. So if we take a look at it, at first, right, we're telling the fragment from X delta, um, again, you know, the X direction is here, the Y direction is here, and zero, zero is the top left corner, which, I mean, I guess it's actually all the way up here. But um, when we're saying from X delta 100% P, that actually means just basically 100%. So because this thing takes up the entire screen, 100% would put the left edge of this fragment 100% of the way across the X axis, meaning that it's like just barely off screen right here. So we're putting the fragment all the way to this, uh, basically, neighboring this screen if you could imagine like the fragment to exist like in this area of the uh, you know I guess in your mind right off the screen here and then 2x delta 0 bringing it back to 0 um, and then the system just takes care of the rest you have a specific config or you know the time that you want it to take but it's going to move from basically off the screen to right here at position zero. And so that's why you get this effect of the fragment actually sliding in from the right hand of the side of the screen because we've defined it to live outside the screen and come back to zero. Um, and then slide out left is the same idea. Um, and that is, this is the animation that's running for when this uh, file, the, this fragment is leaving the screen. So you can see here that the fragment is from the X delta zero. Again, it's just right here. It's perfectly in the, in the screen. And then two X delta negative 100 P. So meaning move yourself in the negative direction, um, the exact amount that you need to be off the screen, right? If you had like 99%, it would just have 1% of the screen, like 1% of the fragment still here. Um, on the screen or you know 50% half of the fragment etc. So in this case we just want to move the entire thing off the screen so then we're um, you know doing negative 100% P and so when these two work together you're you know basically pushing one fragment off the screen with the other one and you're just figuring out which direction to put it in uh, or, or to move it in right so then when you combine the two it actually looks looks pretty good right um, and then, you know, the, uh, the slide down animation that we had where the, the fragment was here and it shot down off the screen, again, from Y delta. So you can, you know, modify or you can use this translate. Um, yeah, that's it. It's just from X and Y. So you can tell it how to move in that direction um, uh, or, or which direction you want it to move, excuse me. So we're starting from Y delta zero. And if you could remember, like the fragment would be here and it would be perfectly in place at position zero. And then two Y delta 100%, which pushes it down off the screen 100% of the way or of the, the height of this fragment. So then it appears off the screen. So, um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, you know, you can kind of, as you see here, layer a couple things on top of one another. So if we have the slide in from the right, maybe let's do with the alpha, um, see how that looks. Now the frag the detail fragment that comes in will also alpha fade in the process. So, you know, like that doesn't look too bad, to be honest. It kind of, you know, provides a, a smooth transition um, or I guess a slightly smoother transition. Um, and then let's just see for 
food for thought if we just did minus 50. So we're moving the fragment, the list fragment only halfway off the screen. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so you see how it kind of stops like right exactly at 50% of the way. Yeah, and then it just like snaps away. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully you can kind of imagine exactly why that's happening, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't really look all that good. So we'll, we'll put it back to 100. Um, let's see how this alpha turns out, and let's see if uh, fading this one out and fading this one in. Um, actually, sorry, this has got to be from 1 to 0, because we want to fade it out. Yeah. You know what, I, I kind of dig that. That looks good, right? I mean, you're kind of fading out one, fading in the other, you get to see a little bit more of the edge of the screen, but like, so what? I don't know. Um, just stuff to show. And so here you could see, uh, you know, from alpha to alpha works the same way with these X and Y uh, deltas. And then alpha is a float value that you can set on any view in the system that uh, ranges from 1.0, meaning that it has no transparency, to 0.0, .0 meaning that it is completely transparent and so you know if you put 0.5 or 0.75 that would be you know 50 or 70 percent alpha um, so there would be more or less that you could see through the um, the view um, or you know in this case the entire fragment so uh, anyway just a little bit of an extension off of um, nope oh, it is in here a little bit of an extension off of our custom animations function. We're actually now providing custom animations ourselves, which is, um, uh, you know, just nifty, and uh, we're we're doing it. So, um, yeah, I uh, I think this is going to um, basically wrap up, you know, this initial season, uh, or or this season. Um, I uh, I'll take a little bit of a look at some of the notes that I have and maybe some other ideas that I have in my head and see if it makes sense to continue going in this um, with this application and continue progressing it uh, and if so then we'll we'll go down that that road but uh, otherwise I think I will uh, you know end up starting something new with a, a new season maybe diving into a little bit more of like an architecture discussion or um, you know, now that we are familiar with fragments, uh, continue the development with fragments, continue, you know, maybe we'll introduce what they call the navigation architecture components um, or the navigation components and, you know, see how, um, now that we know what's going on under the hood and how to create fragments and create fragment transactions, how can we actually kind of use that to our advantage um, with some of the other tools that Google has provided to us. So, um, Thanks for uh, sticking through the majority of this season. I will catch you in the next one.